Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am doing an, another art haul. Um, it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago and I got some money for my birthday and then I went on to Jackson's website and ordered um, the things that I wanted for my birthday. Uh, so this is going to be all of my birthday presents plus a little bit extra, some things that I just um, added myself. Uh, it's not sponsored, I bought everything with my own money or with my birthday money. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy watching me unbox these things. Oh, it's exciting. Obviously I know what should be inside. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at talking and doing stuff at the same time. Obviously, uh, trying to open a box with a pair of scissors is a bit more than my brain can handle. I should probably remove the invoice. Just in case I need it. Oh man, it's hard to get in. At least it's well packaged. Ah, can't get it open. Yes, 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 yes. Let's have a look. Oh no, I thought I was in and I'm not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nearly there, trying not to cut my microphone cord off at the same time. That would be a disaster. There we go. Let us see. And I ordered a lot of balloon thingies there, obviously. That's it, that's my art haul. Oh my goodness, it's all packed in bubble wrap as well. Oh man, I'm never gonna get in it. Let's have a see at this one first. What have we got in here? Oh man, this is gonna be a, a long art haul, just me trying to unwrap everything. Last time I ordered, it didn't come wrapped like this. I suppose it's, it's very good that they do put it all in this packaging, really. Can't complain, it's better than it coming broken. Oh, squeaky, squeaky. Um, I don't know where to get in it. I don't really like cutting bubble wrap, but it's always good to save it. But at the same time, I just want to get my things. Let me in, let me in. I'm even doing this at the moment. I apologise if you can hear next, my next door neighbours playing really loud music. I just have been waiting for this for the past 10 days. So I didn't want to have to wait until they stopped their dunk dunk music before I unboxed everything. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so here we have... I ordered some samples again. <laughs> I do love my samples. Um, so the first are these little booklets, they're really cute, um, of Stonehenge white watercolour paper. There's a few little sheets in there, these are just so cute. And then Yupo heavy paper, uh, Yupo medium paper, oh sorry, can't see everything, and a Yupo translucent paper. And it's quite cool that they give you like lots of little samples instead of just like one A5 sheet. So uh, you get a chance to test it out on uh, a variety of things. So they're really cool. I look forward to t uh, trying those out. And then a another sample pack, a Stillman and Burn premium sketchbook mixed media uh, sample pack. I'm finding trouble. I'm trying to find a, a really nice sketchbook which can handle um, watercolours as well as just being nice and smooth um, to cope with uh, just sketching. The one I bought at the moment, it said it was a watercolour one but or it said it could take watercolours but I tried watercolours and it was a disaster so it wasn't very suitable so I'm still looking for a good sketchbook so that's why I've got that. Um, it was just a little sample and then the Faber-Castell set of 72 pastel pencils, minis. Um, I won't open it just now. This is just a bigger set of the ones I already have. They're really nice and vibrant. I love using those. So I will look forward to giving those a try. Oh, and there is more samples under here. More Stonehenge colors, Lennox cotton, Stonehenge aqua hot press, and Stonehenge Warm White. Awesome, they look fun. Right, next packet. Let's see if we can get into this one. Oh my God, it's 
it's got tape all over it. Seriously, someone had fun with the tape dispenser here. It's literally all the way around. I'm not entirely sure where to get in. It's like, oh, well, I didn't, I was going to say, it's like my birthday. Well, I didn't have presents on my birthday. I had some cards with money in it. So it, this is actually like my birthday. So you're sharing your, you guys are all sharing and opening my birthday presents. Fun times. I'm just ripping it now. Let's get in here. Look, I don't even remember everything that I ordered. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Um, what's that one? That, was it. that one? I ordered um, a brush pen. I'm going to probably ruin this. The Kuritake Fudigo Kochi. I've never ever le learnt like Japanese or Chinese, or, so that is probably very wrong. Um, it's a black pen. I think I bought the fine one, 0.3 to 1.5 millimeters. Um, I'm, I suck at using brush pens actually, and that was one of the reasons I bought it. I thought it would be a good challenge to try out um, and see see if I could get the hang of it maybe for Inktober. I'll have a go with that. And then I I had bought those that pack of pastels, but I actually want to invest in some like more expensive, oh, more expensive, better quality pastels because those ones are just student grade ones. Uh, so I actually um, ordered some different samples. So this is a sample of Sennelier soft pastels. Oh no, just on the box. I did order one, but the, oh yeah, I ordered um, a De La Rowney artist pastel and a Rembrandt. I just thought I'd uh, test them out and see how they are. So uh, I ordered those ones. I'm pretty sure I did order some Sennelier ones as well. Hopefully they're in here somewhere. Uh, Schmincke tester set. Wait, oh my god, they've fallen out. Uh, a Schmincke set of soft pastels. They are very, very soft. There's dust everywhere. Okay, those ones. And then the one says Jackson's art on the side. Just so we can get in. Wait. Yes, and a Jackson's soft pastel. So I was thinking of doing a comparison of these, looking at how soft they are, seeing which ones I want to use there. So that was that. Next parcel is what's in this one? More samples. I'm leaving the my actual the thing that I actually wanted to last. so much tape on this one. This is the Sennelier test pack of soft pastels. Get out of the way. I'm being attacked by boxes and things now. So in here there are six different pastels to try out so that will be really good. I'm gonna have fun trying out all of these pastels. And the last one. Are you sensing a theme yet? It's basically if you are, you should you probably be able to guess what's in this one. Um, more pastels. <laughs> and not only bubble wrap, but also cardboard for this one. Wonderful. Although I can't complain because they won't be broken. I have been looking forward to getting these for such a long time. Um, they are Stabilo. Let me... Oh. I'm really looking forward to having a go at these. Yay, finally, finally, finally. There we go. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, the Stabilo Carbothellos, um, the 60 set. Um, I The box just fell on the floor. Um, <laughs> I got the uh, Cohen Noir Pastel Pencil set of 24 last year for my birthday. And I really enjoyed using it, but I just, I really noticed that the uh, the colour range isn't the best. And some of the pencils are a little bit, um, 
a little bit soft and they break quite easily. So I decided to, uh, as I really enjoy using them, that maybe I should upgrade and test out the, these ones because I've seen really good things about these. So yeah, that is the set. They're so pretty. I'm sure you'll see them in a future video in the not, oh, hopefully not too distant future. Um, so yeah, that is my birthday art haul. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed opening it up. It was really good fun. Um, I really hope that you will come back and uh, watch me create stuff with all of these goodies. If you do want to come back and see me making stuff with all these goodies, then feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Anyway, I hope you have a really good week and I'll catch you in next week's video. Bye.